On the surface, it's a stunning success. Back-to-back -back payoffs in TARP money, $20 billion today from Citibank, $45 billion last Wednesday from Bank of America, with both banks claiming an air of deep appreciation. We owe taxpayers our thanks, said Bank of America. Citibank said, we owe taxpayers a debt of gratitude. And while there's no reason to think that's not true, the fact is the paybacks also allow the banks to escape the bonus limitations about to be imposed by payments. this man. We very much diminish the cash in these compensation packages. While the banks were under TARP, Pazar Kenneth Feinberg had limited executive salaries to $500,000 a year and made their stock-based bonuses untouchable for at least two years. Last night on 60 Minutes, the president said some bank executives were paying off TARP to get around the limits on what they pay themselves. Do you think that's why they paid it back so quickly? I think in some cases that was a motivation, uh, which I think tells me that the people on Wall Street still don't get it. They don't get it. Ten, twenty million dollar bonuses after America went through the worst economic year that it's gone through in, in decades. And you guys caused the problem? Some banks not facing restrictions already have big bonuses in the works. At Goldman Sachs, $16.7 billion has been set aside for year-end salaries and bonuses. And it's no accident that Citibank and Bank of America are paying back TARP funds now. It's just in time for bonus season. No question about it. The culture of Wall Street is those wonderful big bonuses in December. The banks, meanwhile, are delighted to have escaped the Pazar's rules, but the reason they say is because the pay limitations were costing them top talent. And as one official said, we had to escape the stigma of being under government control. Katie? Wyatt Andrews in Washington. Wyatt, thank you.